Ms. Smith, and of course, Ms. Smith, uh, we promised the last time uh, that we would give you an opportunity to sort of elaborate upon the community activities in reference to uh, some of the things that you were involved in before the movement. And uh, then uh, uh, Ms. Henry will also give us some information that following that. And you should also say something. I understand that you were involved with the uh, so-called Freedom Rides. And, and so we, we certainly want you to speak to that. Let's start okay. with you. Um, I was a student at Tennessee State University. I had started school in 59. And um, just like Ms. Henry, I had not thought about uh, segregation. I was just wrapped on becoming educated, mm -hmm, you say. Mm -hmm. And um, I, when I started with the movement, I started realizing that things were not the same as they were in my neighborhood. Mm -hmm, I didn't, mm -hmm. When I went downtown as a little girl, we would see white people, but you didn't think mm -hmm. much about it. Mm -hmm. And uh, your parents protected you. And when you went back in your neighborhood, you went to the same schools, same churches. Everybody knew everybody, and they were protective of us. And uh, we didn't have any reason to even think about things that were wrong. Uh, but once I did, I said, well, if I can help do something, I will. And when I went on the Freedom Ride, that's when I really became totally involved. Mm -hmm. I was arrested on, April, on May 28th in Jackson, Mississippi, mm -hmm. and uh, I spent 39 days in jail. Mm -hmm. uh, part of that was in Parchman Penitentiary. Mm -hmm. And in jail, it was kind of, they tried to intimidate us and stuff like mm -hmm. that, but we, we made it okay without being, I personally was not attacked mm -hmm. or anything like mm -hmm. that but they tried to work on your mind, mostly. Mm -hmm. And um, when we came back from jail, we did the stand-ins the the stand mm -hmm. or the picketing at H.G. Hills. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was just about my extent with the movement. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I did go back to school because, of course, we were put out of school. Mm -hmm. We were expelled from Tennessee State mm -hmm. for going on the Freedom Ride. And I eventually went back to school after we were exonerated. Mm -hmm. And I did not complete my education, but I did get in two and a half years. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. that was my experience. But it's, it's, it's so much courage that has to be involved with the two of you. Now, you sort of stumbled into the movement in a real yes, sense. Yes, I did. Even after getting there, uh, there, there was so much terror that, that was associated with, with, with this movement that uh, somehow it, it, it seems that it, it would have been difficult for me to have maintained any kind of anything. I, I think I would have been too fearful in a real sense to have been I involved in the movement because, see, I'm from Arkansas. Okay. And, 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 and we understood. I was at AMA <coughs> College in time of Arkansas, mm -hmm. and we had 2,000 students there. And out of those 2,000 students, only eight went down to uh, protest, you know, the city, and when y'all started it in Nashville, you see, only eight went down, you see, and most of us, because we were embarrassed, didn't want to admit that we were fearful and et cetera, we stood around and we pointed at them, you see, that saying that uh, they didn't understand the terror of uh, the white man, the Ku Klux Klan, and et cetera, et cetera. And so it took a lot of courage, you see, uh, to uh, become involved in it the way that the two of you were, especially uh, knowing what I know about the Freedom Rides, uh, Ms. Smith, that uh, that had to be a very, very terrifying experience because uh, were you on the bus that was burned? No, I was not. Mm -hmm. And I did not go when the students from Tennessee State took up the Freedom Ride after the Aniston uh, burning. Um, I stayed here and went to school and I sympathized with them. But one thing, my family asked me not to. And so I thought about it and I knew they were leaving the next day before I actually left. But after an incident on a, Jefferson, on a West End bus, hearing something that someone said, that's when it hit.